Good Friday, everybody. Welcome to Friday Bookish Vlog. My name is Heather. And uh, if you're from my book club, hi. <laughs> um, the book club that I'm a part of is Writers Read on Facebook. So check it out. If you want to join, you have to like send an invite and I'll take a look at you and see if you qualify. I'm just kidding. Usually I accept the, the invites anyways. Um, oh, shoot, chair. Um, and now I got all confused and frazzled. But uh, this week, I decided to, um, I don't know, like I didn't do a heck of a lot of reading. I did buy a book though, and it has a lot to do with my culture. Um, I mentioned in a few blogs back, blogs, vlogs, vlogs, a few vlogs back uh, that I suffered, suffer, <laughs> maybe suffer isn't the right word. I, um, I can't think of the right word now. I have cultural, dissociation <laughs> I think is probably the best way to put it um, I am Ojibwe First Nations from Canada uh, and I grew up in an all-white family and they did their best to try and uh, get me in touch with my culture but I guess when you grow up away from your culture and you just start to kind of grow away from it as you grow older and um, that's kind of what happened with me I just kind of lost touch with that part of myself and as a result um, I really kind of have this uh, this spot in, inside me that I don't know it's like it's kind of I don't know how it's just described it's like a grievance you know like I lost that part of me and I'm trying to get it back and uh, it, it took me a good, I don't know, 10, 15 years, I guess, to, to realize that I need that part of me back and I need to feel whole again. So um, over the last few months, I've been trying to take in a little bit at a time um, about my culture and uh, do a little research here and there. And what started it was um, me writing my story and I thought that I would incorporate my culture uh, into my story. But at the same time, I realized that I don't actually know enough. Um, so I had to take that part out of the story because I didn't feel confident enough to put that in my story. Um, and, but it, it didn't leave me. So I'm still trying to trying to try, teach try, sorry, baby's crying, I get distracted. Um, I'm still trying to, to learn about my culture. So this week I ended up buying a book called Ojibwe Star or Sky Star Map Constellation Guide. I thought it would be interesting to learn um, about how my people saw the starry sky um, since what inspired me to look back at my, my culture was the starry sky. So we'll start off with that. <laughs> it's a really short read, about 45 uh, pages. I might have to go or make this short. But um, yeah, so I wanna read that this month. Uh, or this week or however long it takes me. <laughs> Sometimes I have to like read at like three o'clock in the morning, okay? Um, I am a huge Kindle reader or Audible reader, so that's pretty much how I get a lot of the books that I read done. Um, one of the other books that I'm reading right now is called Tammy Hogue the Boy. And uh, I wish I could say that I'm like absolutely loving it, but nor like normally I do love her books, but this one is just not resonating with me at the moment. And it's got nothing to do with her writing or with the characters or whatever. Like she is a really good writer and uh, she was probably like the first uh, author that I fell in love with, I guess, <laughs> you know, you know, author crushes and stuff like that. Um, I would say that she was my uh, teenage author crush. I picked up one of her books. My mom gave it to me. And she's like, here, you should read this. This one is really good. So um, the first book that I read of hers was uh, Kill the Messenger. And I absolutely loved it. It was about a teenage boy and his brother. And he's a messenger. And he's got a like, ugh, I can't even remember it entirely because it was so long ago since I read it. So, um, but yeah, I just remember that it was a really good book. And I actually might go back and read it. I don't know if I still have it. Um, 
I don't know if it survived the move to Montreal. <laughs> so um, that was another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I might not get all of the reading done that I had planned because I am doing an intensive study in French. Um, I figured being almost 60 years living living in Montreal, I should probably know more French than I do. So this month I am going to be uh, cracking down on that, you know. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom, <laughs> so it's so much easier for me to just like order things online and have it delivered to me. And the only people that I interact with are the couriers. And basically it's just like, bonjour, how are you? You know, blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, this week um, I decided to crack down on that French. So if you're a language learner, maybe if you have tips for me, uh, let me know. I, I can use your tips. Um, but uh, other than that, there is not a heck of a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk about this week. Um, I am still going to try and read Hidden Figures and watch that movie. I've got them right here. I'm so excited to, to read it. But you know what? I was looking at this book and there's not a lot of narrative. It looks like it just might be like fact, a lot of fact of following people's lives. And so it might be a lot harder for me to get through that because um, I don't know, I like, I take too many breaks when I read facts. So it, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen is what I'm basically just saying. Um, next week I might just be reading that and I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens day by day, um, coffee by coffee. And uh, that's all. That's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> um, I hope you like this vlog. Uh, I hope next week I'll be able to come back. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a week by week basis. If you see me, um, it means that I survived another week. If you don't, well, it just means that I forgot the days again and you probably see me the following week. <laughs> so anyways, you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you next week. And yeah.